The dresser removes the kimono of mourning. I kneel on tatami and close my eyes. A gust of cool air tells me the rice paper screen has opened. Orange blossom fragrance enters with the dresser. Her feet in cotton tubby shush as she slips behind me, unties the obi. Yards of brocade fall about me. I feel small, vulnerable as a girl just presented. Arms outstretched, she holds the kimono seam at each shoulder, slides fabric over my skin, silk sibilant. Tori Hada rises. I wear only koshimaki and underrobe, light enough now to lift from tatami, a kite loosed from its tether. The robe is folded as prescribed, sleeve over body, whole in half, half again. Wrapped in linen paper, placed in the lacquered box. I will not miss the silk, dark as midnight, though it had a touch of grandeur. The dresser's hand and arm ripple around me. I recall the movements in my mind's theatre, remember our rehearsals back and forth, her hands are tireless, eddying like wind over rice fields. She is to empty me of grief. A dark spirit emerges, long as Obi. She is a no dancer, drawing from my ears, mouth, nostrils, the colours of sorrow. A final red arterial scarf from the belly, drawn out, dissolving in ether. She has removed the inner and outer garments of my bereavement. Unmade, I prepare to start over, alone on tatami.
Thank mm-hmm. you.